So today in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Black & Decker wallpaper stripper that I've been using for quite a while now. Now, what I will say is, I've renovated a couple of properties and I've done my fair share of stripping wallpaper off walls and I've used quite a few wallpaper strippers. So today, I'm going to be talking about the hose length, the quality, the pros, the cons, what I like, what I don't like, the advantages to this model over other models such as this. So yes, that, that's, I'm just gonna have a quick review on this product because I've figured I've just been stripping the wall on this particular wall here because I'm having a new log burner put in here. So I had to strip the wallpaper back so I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to do a quick video on this Black & Decker wallpaper stripper and why I think it's probably one of the best models available, especially for, for domestic purposes, for people who just want to do a bit of uh, renovation of their own home or the decor redecorating a room and want to strip the walls back. So what I will say about this model is the quality over some of the other models I've, I've used and I've also looked at is uh, very good. Uh, good. Good quality plastics, uh, it's very rigid. Uh, there's not really any play like this steaming uh, plate here is really, really, really strong on some of the other models. I've got this model here, which I've also been using and it's just a bit, it's just not as good as, uh, as quality. Something else I like is, the handle has this built-in built in simple simple design, but it serves a purpose. You can put your hose on it, works great. You also have the handle, so it's easy to carry, and you also can put the cable. Now, the cable on the picture on Black & Decker's site, they suggest that you hang it on here, but I'm telling you now, that's almost impossible. I think it sits there nicely. As you can see, it's nice and compact. If I'm doing a bit of wallpaper stripping over a couple of weeks, I can just keep it like this and it's easy to move around. It's not going to get in the way. Hose length, this hose length on this model is 3.65 meters, which is pretty standard, I think. I've compared it to other hoses of the ones I've used and they're the same. The cable's a bit longer. You get a three meter cable, this is. And I know on some of the other models we're using, the cable was only about two meters. So uh, you get a little bit of a longer cable, which is great. Now, let's talk about some of the things that actually, actually matter and make using this a lot better. The first thing is you've got a large cap to fill up the water. Now, what I will say about this is it's much larger than the other models I've used. So, when I take it into the kitchen and put it under the tap, I can put the tap on full and the water will go straight in here and it fills up fast. That's great. On some of the other models, I'll just try and compare this now so you can see it. Some of the other models, like this one, the cap, the cap is very, it's very small. If you compare that cap, the hole, and it's harder to get off because you're dealing with a smaller, smaller cap and, and that. Uh, but, but this one, as you can see, much bigger. It's, I bet it's twice as big. It just makes filling it up a lot easier. It's something that's simple you don't really think about, but actually makes a difference when, you, when, when you're filling it up because you're doing a lot of wallpaper steaming. Again, you've got a big, a big bung there you can twist on, great. Uh, something else I like about this model is it's clear on how much water is actually in the tank and when you're filling it up you can clearly see how far so when it's max it would be filled to there uh, what I would say is don't be tempted to overfill these wallpaper steamers all that will happen it'll start squirting water very hot water so it's dangerous out of the end of the, the wallpaper steamers head so so uh, do only fill it up to the maximum amount so in terms of steaming time Black & Decker would have you believe that this will give you about 60 minutes of steaming and I honestly usually get about 50 minutes of steaming out of this but what we'll say about this model is it's got a smaller tank than some of the other models so depending on how you look at that this is a 4 litre tank and that, like I said realistically it gives you around 50 minutes of steaming some of the other models I've used they were around 5 litres so they would give you the 60 minutes I would have thought uh, well they did, some of the others I did, they give you 60 minutes of steaming, that 5 litres, but however, with this model, it's also, because it's only 4 litres, you still get 50 minutes, it's also a bit more compact in size, so it's easy to store, and I'll just talk about another feature which I actually like, which you don't really think about when you're trying to choose a wallpaper steamer, now, this here has got a little cap over it with two screws that holds the plug, plug in place, so what happens when you're steaming, quite often, it does with me anyway, you're working away and you pull on the end of this and it's a little bit shorter than you wanted because you've, you've gone around your room and all of a sudden you pop it out and you lose uh, you lose power, goes off and it's something that's so annoying. Now, 
With this model, you can't actually do that because it's fixed in place, but it's not fixed 100%. Like I said, you undo these two screws, then you can take that cap off, you can take the plug out. So say you was putting it away because you'd finished renovating your home, you finished doing your decorating and you're putting it away for the foreseeable future. You take out the two screws, remove the uh, holder that's holding it in place, and then, and then you can undo the hoses, you can wrap everything up, you can store it away properly. But, but while you're still actually using it, and you, you might be renovating over the course of a few months and you know, you're not gonna put it away, you're gonna have it around, around the house when you're renovating, it, it's all really nice and compact and it's all together stored. So that's a really nice that you can keep it all together. I think it's a brilliant design. In terms of how good it is, to be honest, most of these steamers are all as, as good as each other. The only difference you normally get is some of the plates are slightly bigger. Professional models, they have a much bigger plate, but domestic models like this, generally they're all the same. So you, you don't really see a better performance in terms of how effective it is on the wall, but, but in terms of how long it lasts, the cable not pulling out, the fact that you can store it, I think this, this Black & Decker model has been well far out. Anyway, I think this Black & Decker model is well worth investing in, well worth trying. If, if, I, if this was to break and I had to buy another model, uh, this would definitely be the model I would buy again, the Black & Decker one. Uh, I will put a link in the description, so if you do want to buy it, it is an affiliate link, so I'll do it in a small commission if you do buy it, but it does help support the channel. I'll, I'll leave that in the description below, a link to where I bought this. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give this video a like, as it really does help me out. Also, if you do enjoy watching videos about reviews to do with DIY tools, I also do reviews on gardening products, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, click that little bell, because you'll get notified then when I release new videos just like this one you just watched. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.